Welcome to Wednesday. Normally it would be Lindsay, I think, that does Wednesdays, but I'll be covering her for a couple of weeks, so until something more permanent can be arranged. Welcome to ICN. You may recognize me from various ICN and TCT videos. For example, Rossetti. I've been in countless of her videos. <laughs> and Taddy. She's on TCT, and I've been in, I think, one of her videos before. Yeah. Um, I like it anyway. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, as you might have noticed, I'm wearing a different shirt. Mainly because the other one's in the wash, and mainly because I recorded half of this video couple of days ago. Um, Expo is almost here. That's a bit scary, considering I haven't got any cosplay ready. I mean, okay, I've got a suit ready for the sooner cosplay out of Katakyo Hitman Reborn, but I need a wig. I don't have a wig, and I'm not dying my hair ginger. No matter how much I love anime, unless I do this bet. Now I, I made a bet, a really stupid bet, and I lost the bet, which basically means I have to cosplay as Misty from Pokemon. Not, not the Misty that wears a little bit more clothing than she did in the first season. No, I'm talking about the first season Misty. The short, short denims, shorts, the suspenders, the yellow tank top, the ginger side ponytail. The C can someone shoot me? Okay, well, apart from that, this week I was watching this. Shitty ultimate weapon! Or as it's known in Japan, as Saikano. It was really good. I mean, it was about... Okay, I don't know how many of you have actually watched it, but it's about a little girl called Chisei. Very cute little thing. Kind of your average cute but timid type of girl. You know, that kind of thing. And, obviously, she gets turned into a super weapon. Like... Or that win. But yeah, she falls in love with a guy called Suji. Suji was okay. He was a bit of a douche though. I mean, there were some scenes that made me think, whoa, he's a bit like whoa. And um, the story set in a war war torn Hokkaido, I think it was. And okay, so that probably explains why he's a bit whoa. But some of the things he did just made me think like it was just weird. I can't really reveal too much without spoiling the story. So if you don't need to spoil the story, look away now. Yeah, it's in a war torn Hokkaido and Shuji and Chise during the course of the story lose quite a few of their friends and it's just really sad the way it plays out I mean it was written really well it's definitely up there with my favorites Elf and Lead and all the other emotional stories I've ever watched and stuff but it just really hit me I mean Shuji has this childhood friend I mean okay the cliche childhood friend type romance but her name was Akemi and big spoiler warning she dies 
I think there was a bombing raid or something. Well, no, it was an earthquake. And she hit her head or something, I don't know, and she was bleeding a lot. So I think, yeah, she knew she was going to die. But there was a moment, I mean, Judy went to go visit her, and because she had never given the opportunity to like tell him how she felt, so because she knew she was dying, she took the opportunity. And the way she did it, and the way she was just accepted it and everything I was driven to tears I'm not gonna lie I actually cried I don't cry anyway and I swear to god I am a male but yeah it it, uh, it was just so painful but enough about that um what to talk about next I'm pretty sure you've all heard of this amazing game. Yeah, there you go. She's so hot! Yeah, Final Fantasy 13. Yes, there has been 13 of them. But unfortunately, um, my PS3 is broken. And I only got to. I think it was some sort of wastelands. I can't remember what they were called, but as far as I can tell, I'm only four chapters in, and I can't finish the game. I am beyond pissed. Yeah, a little rain over. But yeah, I can't see Vanilla or Lightning or any of those fit characters until I get either a new PS3 Slim, which means I'm to save up around a hundred and something, possibly two hundred odd quid. And also, to save up my Xbox, which, oh, as a pure coincidence, got the red ring of death. So now, both of my next-gen co- well, I have the Wii as well, but I don't play it as much. So both of my important next-gen consoles are both dead. Yeah, this sucks major balls. I have a PSP, that's great, I mean I've got the Cydia, Crisis Core, and all the, all the other good games on there. A DS, yeah. I mean I can watch new anime, that's always a plus. She the ultimate weapon, and I'm watching this new one called Karin. And the manga, okay I'm not going to put it out because that's effort, it's over there. I showed it to you earlier in the video, it was called Chibi Vampire. And it was, but yeah, it's a vampire story, and I know there's enough of these vampire stories going around, but this one's an interesting one. Karin is about a vampire who isn't like a normal vampire. She's a vampire who doesn't drink blood, but she gives it to people. And if she gets too overwhelmed, she has this raging nosebleed. It's like she has a fountain of blood gushing. It's just weird. But yeah, the story starts off really well, I mean, it uses a few unoriginal ideas, but it is pretty good. And not only that, I've been, oh, I was re-watching Full Metal Panic for my food. That's quite an old series now, but I think a lot of people have watched it and it was hilarious. I swear to God, if you do anything to exploit the captain, I shall personally shove you into a torpedo tube with 350 kilos of explosive and launch you into the Pacific. Well, it's been fun covering ICN. I know at the beginning of the video I said this might be for a couple of weeks, but in fact, I'm only covering this week. It's just this week. I mean, if there's always a space open on ICN or any other of the sister sites, I would... I might take this out, this seems like fun, it's interesting, but um, yeah, this is David covering in for Lindsay, and it's Wednesday. <laughs>